Welcome to Twilight Render's Getting Started video tutorial series. Today we're talking about Twilight Render's Render to Texture add-on for Twilight Render V2 Pro. You can purchase Twilight Render V2 Pro from the website on the buy page and right next to it you'll find the Render to Texture add-on which allows architects or game developers to bake in the lighting into your texture. So let's get started. Here you can see a scene in SketchUp that's been rendered with Render to Texture and you can walk around the scene as if it's all lit up already by the lights that were placed in the scene even as you might want to do uh, with a client or maybe in a game. The original scene before the textures were baked you can see that it looks like a normal SketchUp model and here after you're completed you can still move objects around it's still normal old SketchUp but the textures are now baked with the lighting on so that the uh, client or whoever can help uh, visualize the scene more easily this works great for interiors but you can also use it for exteriors if you like so let's talk about how we can get this done Here's our SketchUp scene. You can download this scene from the Twilight Render Forum. There will be a link in the description for this video. The main thing you want to try to do with Render to Texture is to select the largest faces in your scene and render those. Um, you'll need to make sure that they're ungrouped. So when you have them grouped you won't be able to render the texture. Let's start by rendering the floor and the ceiling. What you want to do with Render to Texture is choose faces that are of similar shape and size. So we're going to choose the floor and ceiling so that they can be laid side by side in a texture. Go to Extensions, Twilight Render V2, Render to Texture. choose the medium setting or you can choose advanced alternative AA 04A this has a better anti-aliasing and we're just gonna let it be default everything and we're just gonna hit play and it will render the lighting into those textures please follow our video tutorials about interior lighting You'll want to run this only after you've already set up the lighting and done preliminary renderings to be sure that you're happy with the lighting as it is shown. After you bake on the textures, you won't be able to change the lighting. So if I move this light, for instance, somewhere else, the, the light is baked into the texture. It's not going to move with it. Here you can see the progress. It's already ray tracing the first surface, which is the floor. Now, um, what it's going to do is render out all the textures and place them onto a 1024 by 1024 pixel texture and then remap that into your SketchUp scene. So if you want higher quality textures, you type in whatever width you want here and it'll create a rectangle of that size for your texture. So if you need a higher quality texture, maybe double this number to 2048. You can render as high a quality texture as your computer can handle. Of course, um, by increasing the texture size and increasing the quality of the render preset used, you'll be increasing render times. This scene was rendered with 1024 textures. And while it might be a little bit blurry, I think it's quite good uh, for a short amount of time. I think I rendered this scene in about 10 minutes. So uh, it doesn't take too long to do. And if you're in a hurry and you want to show it to a client, then by all means choose the lower render settings. You can choose how as high a quality render settings as you like. The key with this is to choose um, faces that are most important and choose faces in batches. So um, I chose to render these surfaces together 
I chose to actually render just the interior faces of this um, display case together. When I rendered those, I chose to render just the columns and just the walls um, separately. So here it's already done and we can see that the texture has been mapped in your scene. You'll want to be sure that you're doing this on a copy and not the original file because it will change all the textures in that file. So now it's rendered the floor and the ceiling together. And let's look at how it's laid it out. So we open that into Photoshop and we can see that it's laid out this texture and these textures as best it can and then it's cut off the edge that wasn't used. There would have been an edge of the 1024 texture. Let's look at the size of this texture. You can see it's 1024 by 535 now because the rest wasn't used. The rest would have been black, so it's just trimmed it off to reduce the size of the texture image in your file. So again, when you're choosing faces to render with render to texture, you want to choose faces that are relatively the same in size and proportion so that they can be laid out by render to texture in the most efficient manner. And let's explode this face. Here you can see that these faces are all broken up. This face, these faces, these will all be fairly proportional to one another and should be able to be laid out smoothly on a uh, texture so go back to extensions twilight render to texture and render those as it progresses through rendering these faces you'll see this is on face number one through eight it'll first send photons and then do the the mesh and then it'll do the ray tracing after that for each consecutive face it will use the light radiance cache from the first one so that it's not um, taking too long to render the consecutive faces each of the next eight faces the first one it'll take the longest and the other faces will render quite quickly here you can see that the second face rendered in less than 10 seconds the third face rendered in five seconds and so forth so each consecutive face will take less time because um, the lighting cache and the meshes have already been built and then they're reused and now after those faces are rendered out Twilight's rendered texture will automatically map those faces right into the model for you number eight you'll see it doesn't take too long and they're automatically remapped in there for you and that is how easy it is to bake textures with Twilight Render to Texture. Uh, no fuss, no mess. Now, um, after you've rendered to texture, what you want to do is turn off the light layer in Twilight Render. So you'll go to SketchUp's layer panel and turn off the Twilight layer. And then if you turn those off and start a new scene, like I've created here, Render Lights Hide. And now you can see here, this one has the lights on, this one has the lights off. So that when you walk through the scene, uh, those lights aren't being shown. Can you render uh, curved surfaces? Yes, but you'll want to be sure when you do to um, choose extensions while I render to texture make sure that this group faces for texturing is checked and your curvature threshold is uh, greater than 0.2 that means that the curves will be all mapped as as one single texture otherwise the uh, texture will come out chunky but um, I suggest that in most cases you don't render the lighting onto curved surfaces. Um, you can use SketchUp's uh, lighting in the shadows panel to adjust the lighting in your scene. So if you adjust light and dark without 
Um, with the use sun for shading turned on, but the shadows are not turned on. I haven't turned on sun shadows at all. That will mess up the lighting in your scene. So you'll turn sun shadows off. But in the shadows panel, use sun for shading should be turned on. Turn light up to 100%. And then work with the dark setting to get the look that you want. In this particular case, around 55, 53, something like that worked for this scene. As you can see, it looks like it's lit up from the lights. Because usually lights come from above. You'll want to turn off the view of edges and profiles in the scene and change the reverse faces from being blue to black. Thank you for watching and ask any questions you have on the forum. Be sure to go to Twilight Render's website in the tutorial section under add-ons and specialized tutorials there's a full long tutorial describing everything you need to know about rendered texture and we'll see you on the forum